Um, so yeah, it's very strange to give this talk in a uh, gym. Um, so good gym is sort of the opposite of a gym um, to, to, to some extent. It came about from me uh, not doing any exercise and my friends saying uh, you need to go to the gym. Um, the, uh, I didn't like uh, the idea of gyms because I thought they were fundamentally a massive waste of energy. Um, you go into a sort of sweaty basement. This is a very nice room, basement. Um, but um, the, uh, normally, it's a sweaty basement, and you lift loads of things that don't really need lifting, and you run nowhere <laughs> on a treadmill. Um, and you pay loads of money for it, and you probably actually don't even go when you're paying the money for it. So in almost all ways, you're wasting your time, money, energy, effort. Ugh, I just, yeah, I, I couldn't... I couldn't hack that idea. And so um, I wanted to yeah, uh, do, try and do something a bit more positive. Um, I had met my uh, friend's parents' ex-builder, who's a guy called Terry, who was in his 60s and basically on his own. Um, and he didn't see anyone from, uh, you go for weeks without seeing anyone. Um, and I thought I could motivate myself to run, which I thought, also thought was a bit pointless, um, by running around to deliver him the newspaper. Um, so on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I used to run deliver him the Sun newspaper, we'd have a bit of a chat and I'd run home again. It was a way of keeping me motivated to, to, to exercise, and for him, um, it was yeah, someone visiting one day when otherwise um, no one else would. And the good thing about it, um, very impressive diagram, um, is that it was a sort of reciprocal relationship. He became the motivation for me to run. Um, so it wasn't just me helping him, he was also um, helping me, and I could say thank you to him for doing that. And I think a big part of being alive and a good big part of feeling like you are a good, happy person is being able to contribute. And very rarely are older people, particularly, um, who are considered vulnerable, invited to contribute to the society that they, that, that they are in. Often offered help, but not often given the chance to help. Um, so that's basically the, the um, idea that uh, I have expanded and now sort of do all the time. Um, this is Sheila, who's visited by um, Michael um, every week. Um, you can see it, is, yeah, it, makes, it makes a big difference to the way that she experiences her life. Um, we found there's a big problem with uh, DBS checks. DBS checks are not very fun. So if you're getting involved in some sort of new form of volunteering and you have to fill out a really long, boring form straight away, it's not the most engaging way of getting involved um, in an organization. Um, so we started doing group sessions where basically uh, we run to go and help um, a local community organization. Um, we do all sorts of digging, uh, lifting. Anyone who has got a, a, some basically repetitive, boring manual labor that is for the good of the general public will run there, do the job, and run back in. I've actually spent a reasonable amount of time personally cleaning that uh, stone outside uh, your um, Bromley by Bow Center, um, which was fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, a lot of that sort of thing. This is the um, group in Bristol clearing Himalayan balsam, uh, a nasty invasive species that we need to get rid of. Um, more running, lifting, running, that sort of thing. Um, we also do um, something called missions, where we um, run to help um, vulnerable people with one-off tasks. So it's a bit like a cross between what we call the coach runs um, and, the, um, and the group runs. You're running to help people, usually overgrown gardens, changing smoke alarm batteries, helping shift heavy furniture. If someone's coming home from hospital and they need a bed moving from upstairs to downstairs, we do uh, that sort of thing. Um, and it does help people feel better about who they are on, on, on both sides. It feels satisfying to go out, do that run, uh, come back, you get the endorphins of the exercise, and you've helped someone else. You've probably met some new people. You've probably found out about a new um, community project in your area. You feel a bit more a part of where you live. Um, and for the older people, it is we can now show that um, across quite a few different measures, um, there's a significant um, imp improvement in, in how they feel um, about their lives. And I think that making that contribution is really key. Um, and, and for me, I think it's about, we actually want the same thing. We want that sense of connection. We want that sense of, of, of belonging. Um, and a lot of things don't really give us that. They promise us that, that sense, whether it's through you know, buying new clothes or eating particular things. We're going to feel more connected to where we live. Um, but I think what we're trying to do is just yeah, give, give you a, a, an easy way um, into that. So whether you're the older person who's being visited or whether you're the, the, the runner, I think actually, fundamentally, it's, it's that same thing of connection that we're, that we're, um, that we're looking for. It may be between you and people like you, um, or it may be between you and you know, yeah, your, your, your local park and feeling like it is your, your place a little bit more. Um, we also use the internet. 
Uh, so you can, um, yeah, everyone's got a, a, a profile with all the stuff that they've done. You can cheer each other and um, you have a record. Um, I think the other thing we're trying to do is make that type of volunteering a little bit more mainstream to bring it into something that people will talk about at work rather than this sort of secret thing um, that you do in the weekend but can't tell anyone too much because you're showing off. Um, we have amazing personal trainers and running coaches who really do support you um, with your exercise, um, so you should definitely uh, come along. Um, we are expanding quite rapidly at the moment. We're now in 25 um, different boroughs or cities in the UK. We plan to be in every city in the UK um, in the next um, 18 months. Um, our big goal is to reach 60,000 older people um, by 2020, and we will need hundreds of thousands um, of runners. So all of you, um, I think, should definitely come and get involved. Um, that's the end, website. <laughs>